Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today I have a tutorial on making a magnetic Guoguan Yixiao. Hey guys, this is my tutorial on making a magnetic Guoguan Yixiao speed cube. Just a quick little introduction here about the cube. Initially, when I took it out of the box, I thought in my hands, I'm like, wow, this is such a lightweight, breezy cube. Kind of put me in mind of my um, my Valk 3 or my GAN Air. And I approached it that way initially thinking like, well, this is a lighter weight cube. So when I do a mod to it, I'm going to use a, uh, a lower grade magnet, maybe around a 42 or a 35. And that was kind of what I had in mind. And I thought, well, before I do that, I have a digital scale. Let's weigh it. And I've got a micrometer. Let's measure, measure a piece to see how thick it is. Well, it was very enlightening because this cube is not a lightweight cube. Not, not light that I thought it was. Mine measured, uh, seemed like it was over 85, like close to 86 grams. And it miked in at like 0 .049 inches, I believe it was. So we're talking about the thickness of a, uh, or maybe slightly even thicker than a Waylong GTS. The reason I bring this up is these are the things we need to think about when, when we decide which magnet to use. A grade N35 4x2 magnet is not going to really do much in this particular cube in the Yuxiao, but a grade 48 will. And a grade 50 or 52 if you want to increase that magnetic pull force, the, the effect that it has on the cube. But I think for just a good, subtle, but not too subtle, but noticeable feel of magnetic pull force. I think the great N48 did great in this cube and I'm really pleased with the results. But I thought I'd point that out. And you'll notice in this video a lot of repetition. If you watched my Valk 3 video, you're going to go like, he's doing the same thing. Yeah, it's the same technique of gluing in magnets, putting them in the same part of the one third part of a corner piece and the half of half of a an edge piece it's the same location essentially where you can put the would put the magnet it's it's the same anyway so you'll see a little repetition i'm sorry about that being redundant seems like i could maybe make one master video that would have like you know for the along and this and this do this but uh i went ahead and did a video for this because the takedown the disassembly of the corner piece is going to be a little bit different so here's my tutorial if you have any questions just drop them in the comment box and i'll and i'll address them Okay, see ya. Okay, here's just a short list of supplies that you'll need. Of course, you'll need your cube. You'll need 48 neodymium magnets. For my project here, I've used grade N48, 4 millimeter by 2 millimeter magnets. If you want a stronger magnetic pull force effect, you might use a grade N50 or a grade N52. You'll need your glue. Super glue works fine. If you do use super glue, you might want to choose a thicker formula type so that it doesn't it's not prone to running. I happen to use Gorilla Brand Impact Tough Formula, and I like it. I've used it on quite a few cubes. And you'll need a couple of little wooden sticks just to kind of, one, to place the little small drop of glue, and then the other one to align and place the magnet, kind of push it into position. You could use a toothpick for both. Uh, if you do use a toothpick for the glue, you might want to blunt the end of it. It'll help to uh, cause the surface to have, you know, create a little better drop of glue. And then finally, just a soft, clean cloth for removing the lubrication from the QB pieces. I glue in two phases. First, I glue the edge piece magnets, and then I let them dry. And after they're dried, I finally glue the corner piece magnets. There are a total of 24 each of the edge piece magnets and corner piece magnets. And when I begin with the edge piece magnets, you'll see that I use a little helper magnet on the outside of the piece to hold the glued magnet in place. That's, that acts as a clamp, and you'll have plenty of magnets to do this. You'll need 24 for the edge pieces, so one magnet I'm gluing on the inside of the piece, and then the outside magnet is just holding that glued magnet into place in an alignment so that it doesn't move during the uh, drying process. So the very first thing we do is we clean off all the QB pieces, all the lube off of them, and taking the edge piece apart is really easy. You just pull on opposite sides and it comes apart right down the middle like that. And you'll see here the little uh, post and the little receptacle holes that, that hold it together. And here's the exact position that we'll be gluing our first magnet and all the magnets of the edge pieces. See that? Right at the end of that post at the bot very bottom laying right on the floor surface of the inside part of the edge cube. 
And here is its relationship to the uh, corner piece third. See that? And we're going to be doing this 24 times. I use Gorilla Brand Impact Tough Formula. It's a good kind of super glue. It's a little thick. So I dab a little bit on my wooden stick here, like I've done in all my videos you've seen. And I put that small drop right there in the location where the magnet will be. Now here you see my stick of magnets. You'll see that little piece of paper at the end. The reason I do that is so that I orient the polarity the exact way every single time I glue a magnet in. So I'm pulling the magnets off the right end of this stick and I'm keeping that little piece of paper on the left side. So each time I glue in a magnet on the edge piece, I pull it off the same, you know, right side of this and it keeps the polarity the same throughout, you know, all the edge pieces so that when we're matching up with the corner pieces, all the polarity matches. And this is what it looks like glued in. See that little glue there? So I drop a little, you know, drop a glue there. I put the magnet in place. There's the helper magnet. It acts as a clamp. It's holding this glued magnet into place. And after I put that initial drop of glue, I, I put an additional little drop on the side towards the top of it. And then you do 24 of these, a total of 24, and you set them aside. Depending on the type of glue that you're using and how thick you put it on, it may take an hour to two hours, maybe three hours for it to dry and hard enough to move on to phase two, which is gluing the corner pieces. So make sure to really let these sit and, and dry for a while. You don't want to start moving them around without the uh, glue really set in because, you know, you don't need loose magnets. Okay, so the next thing here is the corner piece. The corner piece is made out of four parts, this post with the base, and then these three pieces that just kind of slide in there. See how it kind of just hangs on there like a little, like a signpost or something. And here's a little disassembly video. If you can work a fingernail in between this here, it, it works out a lot better than you don't want to put a screwdriver there because this is the playing surface of the uh, QB piece. You don't want to interfere with the, uh, the moving parts. So that just pulls out. It's got this little tongue and slot in there like most uh, corner pieces have. Except this one just pulls straight out. See that? And that's really all there is to that. And then you do it for the last part there. And you put these little parts aside here. We'll be gluing these to their corresponding edge pieces. And this is what the orientation looks like. And you see the position of the magnet on the left. So we grab our little stick again, put a little drop of super glue, dab that little drop there in that spot where the magnet goes. And this video shows the method of just kind of dropping that magnet into place. Watch this. See how it just flew right into there? And you want to pull the right side piece forward a little bit because you don't want the magnet going out the back of the uh, corner piece. So kind of pull the edge piece forward a little bit and then position that magnet and then kind of push it backwards. This is at 30% speed. So this is slowed down a little bit less than half speed. Okay, so watch this. It's magic. Watch this little magnet fly. It'll go right into there. So you don't have to worry about polarity. See that? And then just kind of move the pieces flush. And if you've got your little wooden stick, uh, helper stick, you can kind of make sure that that's seated down. And then go ahead and put an additional drop of glue on the side and top of that uh, corner piece magnet like I'm doing here. And you'll see here it got a pretty good glob on there actually. But uh, it, it'll settle down. It'll kind of end up going around the base. And look, here's all 24 corner pieces matched up with 24 edge pieces. And that's basically it. You have to let these sit and dry for a while. They may take, you know, like I said, another additional two hours. So you don't want to rush this part and really make sure that's sitting on a, a flat surface so that it's not bumped. The, even at this point, the uh, individual parts can attract to, you know, another part. And after the glue is dried, sometimes you see this residue by the fumes that come off of super glue. That's how they used to test for fingerprints on stuff. They'd burn something with super glue and, and it would, it, it leaves this residue. Anyway, just scrape that off. It wipes off real easy. So a little rubbing alcohol or just rubbing it off or like if there's actual glue, you can use a stick. Here's my little corner piece, um, my edge piece check off and putting them together is just like we took them apart. I use that check off list just so that I'm pairing them up. And if you find a corner piece, I'm sorry, an edge piece that might have like a high ridge in the middle, 
you can always kind of plane it down by not cutting into it, but kind of raking across backwards with a uh, sharp razor like that, and that'll plane it down. And here's all my corner piece parts, and it's time to assemble them. You see the three slots there, one in the middle, and then the two that go off to the side. That will receive the other corner piece parts. And this goes straight in the slot, just straight in like that. Pushes in there. Then you take another QB um, third part here, and it goes in. And then I've got a checkoff list there for my corner pieces. And note the uh, order that I had them so that uh, I put them in the right order. And then it's just assembling your cube and lubricating it. And then you might want to do some initial, you know, make sure that everything's free. If you've watched, you know, putting together your cube and making sure that it, you know, you didn't have any residual glue or anything left like that residue, then you know it'll work fine. And this is kind of showing the magnetic attraction here. And this is it. It's time to, you know, lubricate it and enjoy your cube. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I've been enjoying doing these videos. And uh, this is the Yushao. Thanks for watching. Happy cubing.